Hello, traders. This is Rich from TradeSite. Here's a look at our market leading stocks for the coming session. This is going to be for Monday, April 13th, 2015. So, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty quiet day for the most part. You know, there's a little, little bit of action in GE, but uh, for the most part, pretty, pretty quiet. Uh, I'm not seeing uh, a lot of volume here. As you can see, I think that's the big theme is we're really down on volume. We do have an upside CPS in the spiders and also the diamonds. We don't have that condition because of queues right now. But, uh, you know, for Monday, we're going out on the highs here. We definitely could, uh, could be biased towards the, uh, towards the buy side. The individual sectors, again, uh, very, very light on volume. We're going to see, see volume pick up a little bit more um, as we get into earnings season a little bit better, and we'll start to see some better movement also. But uh, right now, we're kind of paired off between buys and sells. Nothing really sticking out there. The TAN and the XHB are the only ones that are uh, really showing any, uh, any particular volume today. We got to the commodities a little bit, maybe to the sell side here. GLD and SLD both have contract handles. We did play the GLD short today. Um, got a nice, got a nice partial out of it and uh, rolled down to a couple of key levels. But uh, uh, that was kind of, uh, kind of out of sync with what the dollar was doing, so we took advantage of that. Uh, the bonds aren't doing too much today, um, as far as volume goes. We do have some movement again. Um, TLP is up 20 cents or so, but uh, we don't have any signal either way. As far as the uh, foreign names go, uh, FXI is the one that's uh, really, really in motion today. 1% above the day's open, a half of a percent above the VWAP, which is pretty notable. And, uh, you know, China is, uh, I think, in a bubble. And uh, it's just a question of, uh, of when it's going to end. Nobody knows. But uh, just uh, be ready for the fireworks when it does happen. RSX is taking a little bit of a breather. Um, it's also uh, basically following the queue of the ruble, so the ruble. Uh, today, finally weakening again after getting close to that 50 level, which is the uh, PM level. The uh, specials, not really seeing much here. We'll probably have a better shot at seeing something next week after we get some, uh, get some movement. FX pays trade some volume, but that's the only one that's really doing anything. All right, and here's a look at the, uh, here's a look at the ETFs uh, on the watch list with the, uh, with the bar counts. So you can see that we don't have anything really cooking here as far as exhaustion runs on the majors. Um, the IWN is seven bars up in the in the in the uh, startup phase, so we could see a little little headwind from that next week. Uh, PPH is still 13 bars up. Uh, the TAN locked in uh, locked in 13 bars down, so uh, keep an eye on that for next week. Uh, the XLE is 12 up here in the aggressive uh, seeker, but it's got a ways to go still still on the, on the uh, standard seeker. Uh, 12 bars is the uh, XLK. On uh, all three of the, of the measurements, so that's pretty notable. And the IBB is getting really close. We've got 13 in place in the um, aggressive seeker. We're 12 up right now in the uh, in the standard, and we're uh, 12 up also for the uh, home. So that's going to be one to watch next week. And if we uh, start to see that roll, that's got some pretty big implications for the market. As uh, Apple certainly isn't really the leader that it used to be. All right, folks. As always, thanks for listening. This has been Rich for TradeSite.